in this video we are going to discuss about payment terms in SAP S4 HANA so what are payment terms payment terms explain the concept of payment on or before the due date so for example for some customer we are going to receive the payment after 30 days for some customers we are going to receive the payment after 15 days so like this this case is also applied for vendors also for some vendors we are going to pay our invoices payment after 30 days for some customers we are going to pay for after 15 days so payment terms are very important by using payment terms system will check the remaining period and arrear days for the invoices and on the basis of this system is going to prepare the aging analysis report so payment terms are also used for calculating the liquidity forecast balance for liquidity forecast balance is used to calculate the liquidity position of our company after some period like after 30 days what would be our liquidity so system calculate the liquidity on the basis of payment terms we defined in the vendor and customer master data so let's go and create some payment terms so some payment terms are already defined by SAP we can also use those payment terms so if we want to make another payment term we can also create our own customized payment term so let's go in the SAP and create one customized payment term so I'm going to SPRO configuration screen reference IMG financial accounting account receivable and account payable business transaction or going invoices and credit memos so here we are going to define and maintain terms of payment so you can see these are the payment terms already defined by SAP so you can also check these payments so this if we applied this payment term to any invoice so it will become immediately due so let's go and create our own so I'm going to new entries HA01 so in this payment term what we are going to maintain so we are giving 30 days credit period So also 2% discount is given if customer pay within 20 days so date limit day limit is used to limit the days of this payment term so if we maintained here 20 so this payment term is only applied for the invoices up to the day of 20th so after 21st on the 21st day we will unable to post the invoices of customer or payment or customer or vendor so we are not going to maintain any day limit so this will apply for the whole month and account type is used to maintain for which account type we are going to use this payment term so we want to use for customer so we will, we will only check the customer option so if we want to use this payment term for customer and vendor we, we have to check these both options so fixed day fixed day will gives us option to calculate the terms of payment 
after the fixed day of the month like if we maintain 31st here what the system will do the invoice is posted on the 20th day of the month but the credit days will start from the 31st and like this additional month so what the additional month will do it will give 30 days credit term extra so for our case customer or vendor will get 60 days of credit period because if we maintain here one so what the system will do it will start calculating terms of payment after one month so I'm not going to maintain here so block key is used to block the payment like you can also check we if we maintain the block payment so for any customer or vendor what the system will do it will block the invoices for payment and we can also maintain the payment method like we are going to pay through check or from direct debit or from using cash so we have to maintain the payment method here default date for baseline so baseline is the day from which system is going to calculate the terms of credit so like from posting day system is going to calculate the credit term from entry day from document date so baseline date is the date from where the terms of credit are going to calculate so we can also use the installment payment recurring entry so here we are going to maintain the percentage of 2% and here we are going to give the days so like this my server is a bit slow let's stop the transaction I'm going to log in again continue so let's go again and create the payment term SPRO reference IMG financial accounting account receivable and payable business transaction outgoing invoices and credit memo maintain the credit terms payment terms of payment I'm going to use Z001 so like this I'm going to maintain so I'm going to give the 2% discount if the customer pay within 20 days 30 days is the normal terms of credit so I'm not going to give fixed day or additional month these both options are like this so I this terms of credit are going to calculate from posting date so this now save this entry already exists Z101 so let's save this credit term so go back let's check is it created so this is the term of payment we have just created so now we are going to assign this term of payment term to the customer and vendor master data and then what the system will do it will apply the term of payment to all the invoices posted for some for the customers or vendors so this is all the concept of terms of payment so it is very important to understand the term of payment concept and the application
so that's all for this video thank you for watching